Hey guys, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to show you how to get Retroarch up and running on your Super Nintendo Classic Edition so you can play games from Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, Master System, Game Boy, the original Nintendo, and more. Now this guide is going to be for people that already have Hatchy installed on their Super Nintendo. I'd recommend not even messing with Retroarch until you know how Hatchy works and you have it up and running. So if you need to know how to install Hatchy, please see my step-by-step -step guide, How to Add 300 Plus Games Easy to the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. I'll post a link down below. So right now I have the newest version of Hack-Chi, 2.21b, pre-installed on my Super Nintendo. And this newest one gives us a lot of updates for the RetroArch, and it gives us some more memory, which is really cool. It gives us about another 50 megabytes of memory. So let's start off by going to the download page for RetroArch. This is version 9c. This gets updated quite a bit, so this is the newest version available right now. And I'll post a link down below, and when you use that link, it automatically will give you the newest version. So we want to scroll down and download the RetroArch with Core Zip. Go ahead and save it. Now I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to drag that to the desktop. Now I also downloaded this Clover App Zip and what this does is it allows you to access RetroArch like it's a game. But I was getting a lot of errors when I tried to use it so I'm not going to use that in this tutorial. I did download it and I'll play with it some more but I'd recommend not using it at this point. Now it's time to open up our HackChi app, and remember this guide is for people that already have HackChi up and running. So I've already hacked my Super Nintendo, and I'm using HackChi 2.21b. Now I'm going to drag this RetroArch with Core Zip over to the HackChi and drop it right here. Now it's going to give you some options to select. I'm going to leave everything checked just like it was, but I'm also going to check this extra space. This gives you an extra 50 megabytes of space, and I could sure use that. And this extra space is experimental, so when you check it, it's going to give you a disclaimer saying this is a very experimental, use at your own risk, etc. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, so I'm going to continue to use it. Now I'm going to go to the bottom and select OK. Now it's time to make sure my Super Nintendo is unplugged, powered off. Now go ahead and plug it in, hold that reset button, turn the power on, continue to hold the reset button for about 3 to 4 seconds. Now let go, and then it should automatically start doing its thing. Okay, now it's going to update the kernel, and once that's done, we now have RetroArch installed on our Super Nintendo. Now it's time to add some games. I've already added a few, but what you need to do is click that Add Games button and navigate to wherever your ROMs are. So you can add games from Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, uh, Sega 32X, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, TurboGrafx-16, and more. Now I can't give any links to these ROMs, guys, because I'll get in trouble, but Google's your friend. Just Google whatever you're looking for and eventually you'll find it. Now once you've found the games you're looking for, go ahead and select them. You can select more than one. Now we're going to go down to the bottom and click open. Now that's going to transfer the games over to our Hack Chi app. But now we don't have no artwork so we need to select the game and then hit Google and that'll pull up artwork for that game title. Then I just repeat that step for the rest of the games that I just added. Okay, I've got all my games added now. And for testing purposes, I'm just going to use the original 21 games, going to check those, and the games I just added from other systems. And this way, when I turn on the Super Nintendo, I can find those games I added real easy. And I'm also going to go up to Settings, go up to Pages Folder Structure, select Pages Split Games Equally, and you can select whatever you want. This is just what I want to use. And then for Maximum Games Per Folder, I'm going to select 50. Now that way, all of the games I just added, plus the original games, are going to be on that front menu. Now it's time to click on that Synchronize Selected Games button, and this will upload the games to your Super Nintendo. Okay, we got all the games uploaded. It's time for a test. Okay, we're back to the Super Nintendo, and it looks like success. We got some TurboGrafx 16 games, some original Nintendo games, uh, Game Boy Advance games, Nintendo 64, Sega 32X, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis. So let's go ahead and test some of these games out. So let's go ahead and test an original Nintendo game out. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, and this is a really cool game. If you haven't played this before, you should try it. So the Nintendo games seem to play just fine. And if you want to access the RetroArch settings, just push Select and Start at the same time, and that will bring up a menu for RetroArch. And there's a lot of different settings you can pick from, but unfortunately not everything works. But there's a lot to pick and choose from, and you'll just have to check it out and experiment with what works and what doesn't. Okay, let's go ahead and reset, and to my surprise, the game saves actually work. So I'm going to select Y and it'll save the game for me and I can start right back off where I was. Although the game saves work, I can't get the rewind feature to work. Or my screen overlays that hide those black bars on the side. 